bruschetta. Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. So, there's this legend in the calisthenics community. I think he's from New York or somewhere. Personally, I haven't met him yet, but he goes by the name of Hannibal for King. Guys, if you don't know who Hannibal for King is, like I said, he's like an absolute legend and has gotten a lot of people into calisthenics over the past five, six plus years. He's an OG when it comes to the park workouts and all that stuff. And speaking of park workouts, there's a certain viral video of Hannibal for King showing his workout, different exercises that he does that was posted, I believe around nine years ago, almost a decade ago. And this video has absolutely changed the game for everybody. Now, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna actually watch this video. Now keep in mind, I probably haven't seen this video since 2015, 2016. So it's gonna be pretty interesting to see. Let's go ahead and watch it right now. Guys, this video has 22 million views. It was posted by Bar Stars December 19th, 2011. So let's go ahead and watch it and see how the Hannibal for King works out. We're gonna step to the next level now. But you, you gotta work on the first part for a little while, you know what I'm saying? You can't just do that and then be like, ah, I got those, let me know. So I think this is the part two of the workout, but the part one video didn't have as many views. So we're gonna watch this one and do the exercises from this one because it seems like uh, the most popular. So I'm gonna go, I'm gonna kind of move to the exercises and less of him talking. Oh, snap. Okay. Damn. All right, let's wait later. Let's pause. Oh, let's pause at the top. Right there. Wait, one more. Right there. All right, guys. So as we see, the first exercise is a closed grip pronated uh, waist to bar pull up. It looks like you can see how high he's getting on the bar right there. Pretty explosive. I like that. I feel. I feel like you know. I'd probably do that. Let's move on to the next one. He does. All right. So he's on the dip bars. Let's go ahead and see. Level of dip. So that was definitely a dipping exercise, but the thing is he's at the edge of the dip bar and he's leaning in. It's almost like a pseudo planche push-up, had a baby with a dip and he created a dip variation. So we're gonna, we're gonna call that a pseudo planche dip. Let's watch it one more time. Yeah, look, look how far his shoulders are leaning forward. So we'll call that a pseudo plank dip. That's exercise number two. Push ups. Okay. Give you all a couple with the leg in it. Oh, okay. All right, so the next one looks like a diamond push up with the leg in the air to cause a little bit of unbalance. Probably a little bit more core stabilization in there too. He died. He switched it, okay. All right guys, we watched the video. That was pretty much it. Those were the three exercises that the Hannibal from King showed. So today is actually my push workout and I'm going to the park of course. And what I'm gonna try to do is replicate these exercises and train just like him. Personally, I wanna see if I can do these exercises because I remember when I was a beginner and I looked at this and I was like, this just blew my mind. There's no way I could do this. But with me, with a little bit of experience now, let's see if AD can do it. So first things first, we gotta make our pre-workout and we gotta check out some of these new products. So let's head to the kitchen. Now before we go, shout out to my supplement sponsor, My Protein, And I literally just got some new pickups the other day. So I wanna show you guys it right here. The first thing is we got the ISO Whey. So they come with two proteins. The first one is the Impact Whey Protein, the Impact Whey Isolate, and also the ISO Whey. 
Now, the difference between these two is that this one has 20 grams of protein per scoop, and this one has 25 grams per scoop, but essentially they're both whey protein isolates. I think the impact whey isolate comes with more flavors. As you see right there, your boy got cookies and cream because that is my absolute favorite. And this one is just the chocolate smooth one. So uh, I tried this one out, haven't got to try this one yet, but today I will be trying it. And they just came out with a new hat or baseball cap in collaboration with New Era. New Era is like this world famous hat brand. And the fact that they did a collaboration with them is awesome. So I ended up getting the black one right here and the red one too. So we'll post a few pictures so that you can actually see how they look like on my head. It's not sunny outside or that sunny outside today, so I'm not gonna wear it today. But in the future, you will be seeing me rock some of these. So remember that for all these supplements, hats, clothing, apparel, all of it, you can use my code AustinNYP for 45% off and more. They're always doing crazy deals. And it doesn't matter if you live in the UK, Canada, Europe, wherever, they will ship to you. All right, so let's go ahead and do these exercises. Let's go. Guys, we're gonna do the first exercise that Hannibal for King did. Let's see if I can do it. It's gonna be the close grip explosive pull up. I can't remember if, if he was in an L sit or not. I don't think he was in an L sit, but maybe I'll just do both. I'll do one, a few reps in an L sit, then I'll do it without the L sit. So let's see. Overhand. All right, no L set. Uh, I think I got that about done. I already knew I was gonna be able to do that because my weighted pull up strength, my muscle up strength, I already knew that wasn't gonna be hard. So I think the next one was uh, dips for the pseudo planks push up kind of variation. We'll rest a little bit and then we're gonna do it. Next exercise, I'm gonna need some chalk for this one. I ain't trying to bust my face, you feel me? So, I'm gonna chalk up. And one thing about me is that I'm really, really good at planche stuff. So planche push-ups, all that stuff has always came easy to me, dips. So let's see how I do this pseudo planche dip. I kid you not, I've never done this before in my life. So let's see. Uh, it, it just felt like a like an easier variation of a full planche push-up because instead of being completely horizontal your body's still kind of at an angle and you get a, like a lot of lower chest so i'm gonna pause right here right. like a bent arm elbow lever a little bit so so far i've been killing these exercises i think two out of two we got one more which is like the easiest one out of all of them I can do it right now. And that was the diamond push up with the leg out. And according to him, I guess that's the full Hannibal for Kane workout. So, you know, a few years of calisthenics training. I feel like anybody could be able to do that in about like two to three years. Obviously I've been training since 2016, so what is that? About five years for me. So really no match, but if you guys want me to do somebody else's workout, let me know and I'll be trying to train like them. So this is the first one of potentially many. Subscribe, subscribe if you're new, like the video. See you guys, next one, peace.